Good morning, everybody. It looks like the uh, San Francisco weather decided to travel down the PCH and come visit LA. And I'm alright with that. It's a damp, cold day. And uh, I'll just uh, wear a sweater and a cap. And, uh, Bob's your uncle. I'll be just fine. You know, in Siberia they have a saying. There's no such thing as bad weather. Only bad clothes. You know, after all these, uh, it's been over a year that I've been taping this. And not once have I caught a nice dramatic car accident. I know that's a terrible thing to say, but they're exciting. That's why people watch, watch you know, Crash Derby and everything, and cops and all that shit. And if you've ever just been standing there or sitting there in your car and observed a a car accident happened in front of you. It's almost like being in the car accident itself because it's so shocking and loud and metal flying everywhere. And, um, you know, I've been in a couple car accidents. <laughs> I once drove um, my little Datsun B210 um, over a cliff in West Virginia. And the only thing that saved my life was that the little, the little car was so light, and it, <laughs> it actually landed in a treetop. Um, it was at a like um, severe angle. This cliff, it, it wasn't a sheer drop, but it um, was a very steep, steep drop, and uh, like. If the car had gone falling all the way down, I would have been crushed like a bug. But anyway, the car was wedged between this treetop and um, the hillside. And the only way, I tried to open the car door, and if I had done that, I would have gone tumbling to my death. But instead, I um, climbed out of the back windshield. I mean, the car was at that angle. I somehow scrambled out of the back windshield, which had popped out, thank God. And I kept scrambling up the hill and sliding down and scrambling up the hill and sliding down. And then when I got to the top and I looked and I saw what, what I had done and what had happened and what could have been the consequences, and uh, I flipped out. <laughs> I went totally nuts and I went and flagged down some policemen and um, well let's do the backdrop for what happened was I was um, a, pr persp a pr prospective um, freshman at this school where I ended up getting my bachelor's degree they accepted me anyway after this incident but uh, I couldn't talk. I was in so much shock that my powers of speech were robbed of me. I've never been so shocked in my life. Well, I've had other shocking experiences, but that was one of the most shocking. And I was very young. I was only, you know, uh, 17. And uh, I still knew very little of the world, living my sheltered suburban life. Uh, but uh, I, I managed to flag down some police and get them to follow me back to the campus. And, um, you know, tow trucks were called. My father was contacted. You know, yada, yada, yada. I was taken to the hospital. And because I wouldn't talk, like some, I was going in and out of reality. All of a sudden, my father was talking to me. Well, in and out of a blackout, alcohol-induced blackout. Um, 
one point my father was talking to me and he was like, Russell, you have to tell them if you hurt anywhere or they're going to x-ray your whole body. So I just couldn't comprehend what my father was actually saying. And um, they x-rayed my whole body, didn't find anything wrong, and put me in a neck brace. Is that Robin or just a car that looks like her? I bet you that's her. She's been sitting in the garage trying to get her shit together, probably. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> With my dramatic story. I wake up the next day and I've got a neck brace on and my father's driving me home in a rented car. Because we had driven up there together check out the scene at this college where I got my bachelor's degree and um, I'd gone up to this area called the hill where they had like the upper you know like the juniors and the seniors their housing the upperclassmen and they lived in like suites with like more you know humane conditions and that's where I had been to a keg party and driven the car off the cliff in my drunken stupor. It was called The Hill. Anyway, where I did that was named Russell's Ridge. And I don't know if it's still called that to this day, but during my tenure at uh, Wheeling College, now known as Wheeling Jesuit University, um, it was called Russell's Ridge. Um, I'm going to sign off now because this is getting long. But it's my little morning sign-in. I'm going off to pick up some uh, a prescription. And then maybe I'll sign in later before sunset. So y'all take care. Bye now.